Okay, so in this video, we're going to try and form these equations. So the first thing I need to do is I need to be really careful. And we talk about this in the next one. I need to be clear about what my letters stand for. So if you read my three situations, number of Jandal and Kiwi souvenirs is no more than 12. A Jandal souvenir costs $5 and a Kiwi souvenir costs $8. And for every three Jandal souvenirs made, there must be at least one ki Kiwi souvenir made. So my two topics or my two things that I'm working with is the number of jandals and why is my number of kiwis. Okay, so those are my two things that I'm working with. So I'm going to number my equations so that I can go through these. And I'm going to read the first one. The number of Jandal and Kiwi series is no more than 12. So my equation there is the number of Jandals, which is X, plus the number of Kiwis, which is Y, but it's no more than 12. So that means it could equal 12 but it can't go bigger than 12. So that's got to be a less than or equal to 12. The second one is that a Jandal souvenir costs $5 and a Kiwi souvenir costs $8 and they have at most $38 to spend. So if each Kiwi, uh, sorry, Jandal souvenir costs $5, then the amount that one general souvenir costs is five, two general costs is 10, three general souvenirs cost is 15. So it's three times the number of general souvenirs plus eight times the number of Kiwi souvenirs. And that must be less than equal to 38 because I have at most $38 to spend. I don't know if you can hear, but the rain is really coming down at the moment. Now, the last one is tricky. So that is why I'm drawing a table. So remember, X is my number of jandals, and Y is my number of kiwis. So there are three jandals for every one kiwi, and therefore for six jandals there are two kiwis and for nine jandals there are three kiwis now the problem comes that i need in my mind to make these equal so how can i make the numbers in this column oops this column be equal to the numbers in this column and the way I do that is I have to multiply all of these numbers by three. And that's counterintuitive because you think the three in front of the jandal means you'll likely multiply the jandal number by three, but you don't. Now, having worked out what it is for an equals, I can now turn my attention to be these words. And it says there must be at least. So this number could be one, or it could be two, or it could be bigger than two. So that implies to me that this relationship is a greater than or equal to. Because if it was one, then three y is greater than or equal to x, that's true. And if it was two, that six is greater than or equal to three, that is also true. So therefore that works in my situation. And that's why any relationship between two variables where you are given a sentence where there must, for every one of these, there must be at least two or whatever of something else, those are the hardest equations to form. Okay, that's the end of our video. Uh, I hope you do well on the Google form and they should self-mark. Uh, and until next time.